Good morning. Good morning. Did you guys hear that our prelude this morning was on the organ? Yes. <laughs> the organ is back, people. The organ is back. And the organ is back because we have hired and welcome to our staff, Dr. Mary Newton. If you could just stand and wave so people can just see who you are. We are very excited to have Dr. Mary Newton join our staff. She is going to be helping with choir. She is going to be just our overall music director here at church, a position we've been trying to fill for four years almost. And we are grateful to have you join our staff. So welcome. There will be a combination of organ and piano today, um, but it's nice to have that option back, right? Well, welcome to each and every one of you, too, to worship this day. Uh, I am crutch-free now, which is wonderful. Um, I'm on, I know. Woo, it's wonderful. Man, to have your ability taken away in one way, shape, or form really magnifies what you can and cannot do. So it's great to be able to move again. Um, I just want to highlight a few quick announcements that we always do so you don't miss out on um, all the things that are happening at St. Mark. Uh, First off, choir, like I said, is uh, starting up again, and so there is going to be a meet and greet this Wednesday at 6.30, so if you are in choir or want to join choir, please come on Wednesday at 6.30 and meet Dr. Mary and kind of get an understanding of what the schedule is going to be and that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> it only takes a spark. This is kind of our stewardship or fall theme that we're kind of going with. We're singing the song, Pass It On, in worship all this month um, to talk about how it only takes a spark to get a fire going and how each one of us gets to be a spark uh, for the ministry of St. Mark. Um, there are ministry buckets that we had out at Fall Festival um, that we ask that if you want to put your name and info on a flame, a spark, if you will, um, and put that in a ministry bucket where you, um, in a ministry that you want to help um, with this year, we would love it. There even is a bucket for new ideas that you could write down new ideas of things that we have never done, things that you haven't seen done in a long time. We'd love to hear from you about that. So make sure you stop at the table out in the narthex. The first in-person Sunday school is happening October 2nd, so make sure you mark that in your calendar. Um, we are also doing Um, when you pass, because those are the two things in life that are guaranteed, right? Death and taxes, right? And so um, we just want to create a space for people to be able to come and uh, prepare and learn more about some of those aspects. So we invite anyone to come 10 a.m. on Wednesday. Cindy Hughesby, I invite you to come make your announcement. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't let you know. Good morning. <clears throat> the Holiday Bazaar is coming up, believe it or not, before too long, November 12th. And so we have a sign-up ch sign chart out today um, for any little way you want to help with the bazaar. If you want to work that day, if you want to do something behind the scenes, ahead of time, whatever. Um, either myself or Susan Kuzman or Nora Hemquist will be standing out there so you can ask us questions if you want. But... It's a lot of fun. We have a great time every year, so um, come see us and sign up to help. We would love that. Thank you. I can't believe, yeah, we're already talking about the Holiday Bazaar. November 12th. At least you weren't listening. Oh. It's November 12th. 12th. <laughs> November 12th. Write it down. It's a Saturday. Oh. It's wrong Je in the margins, Jenny but it's it corrected in, in your announcement sheet. This is why these announcement sheets are so important. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I think those are all the announcements I have. There's coffee and fellowship hour, which we always know is so important um, on a Sunday morning. And so make sure you head up to our fellowship hall for all the delicious treats, healthy and maybe not as healthy, um, but no judgment here. 
Uh, so please join us so we can all check in with one another after worship. I invite you now to stand as you are able as we begin our service with a time of confession and forgiveness. <clears throat> Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. Dear friends, together let us acknowledge our failure to love this world as Jesus does. God of mercy and forgiveness, we confess that sin still has a hold on us. We have harmed your good creation. We have failed to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with you. Turn us in a new direction. Show us the path that leads to life. Be our refuge and strength on our journey. Through Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and friend. Amen. Beloved of God, your sins are forgiven, and you are made whole. God points the way to new life. Let us pray. God among us, we gather in the name of your Son to learn love from one another. Keep our feet from evil paths. Turn our minds to your wisdom and our hearts to the grace revealed in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Please be seated. And if any kiddos want to come up at this time for a little children's message, I would love to have you join me up here. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Hi, Winter. Hi, Maisie. Oh, come on up. Hi. Come 
join. Come have a seat right up here. Hi, buddy. Oh, good. Wash your hands with that holy water. That's good. Yep. Ladies, how are you? Good to see you. Hi, Amelia. Good to see you. How is everybody? Good? Thumbs up? Any thumbs down? No? Good? We're feeling good? Okay, I have a question. I want to know something. I want you to think real quick something that you're really good at. I want you to think of something that you're really good at. Maybe it's running, maybe it's math or reading, or maybe it's making new friends. What are, what are you really good at? Charlie, you want to share? Eating and drawing. Eating and drawing. Love it. I'm really good at eating too. Love it. Amelia, what are you good at? Playing with mom and dad and eat. Yes, absolutely, you are. Absolutely. What are you good at? School and gymnastics. Do you want to share? Anything you're good at? Okay, that's okay. I'm really good at talking really loud. I don't usually need a microphone. Um, I think I'm really good at making friends. I also for being just who you are. And it can be really hard to balance all that in your life. But God is trying to remind us that we are called to be who we are no matter what, but it can be really easy to compare ourselves, right? If you have someone in your class maybe that is really good at math and maybe you're not as good at math, or maybe you know someone in your life that is really good at gardening, I am not good at gardening, right? But that's okay. That doesn't mean that I'm loved any less, okay? Okay? So we're going to say a prayer, okay? And we want everyone to join us. That's good. Your mom should water her plants. I'm, I, that's hard for me sometimes to remember to do that. Okay. So let's say, our, let's say our prayer first, okay? And then you can tell me what you need to tell me after worship today, okay? Come find me, okay? All right. So let's fold our hands, and we invite everyone to pray with us, okay? And repeat after me. Dear God, thanks for loving us and creating us just the way we are. Remind us how much you love us every day. We love you a lot. Amen. Thank you guys for coming up and joining me. It is a highlight of my day to see all of you. Yes, And yes, we are going to go to our readings right now. So Charlie, if you want to head and go to the reading, you guys can head back to your seats or to the play area to play quietly if you want to, okay? Testing, testing, one, two. Yeah. Yeah. Hear this, you trample the Hear this, you that trample on the needy and bring to ruin the poor of the land, saying, When will the new moon be over so that we may sell grain? And the Sabbath, so that we may offer wheat for sale. We will make the ep how do you pronounce this word? Yeah. Ep epa? I don't even know. Small and the shekel great. And practice deceit with false balances. Buying the poor for silver and needy and the needy for a pair of sandals. And selling the sweepings of the wheat. The Lord is sworn by the pride of Jacob. Surely I will never forget any of their deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I even read it. Our psalm today will be read responsively. The lectern side reads the regular print. The pulpit side reads the ital italic print and all the together on the bold. Hallelujah. Get prayed. Praise the name of the Lord. 
the name of the Lord be blessed from the time forth forevermore. This is right and is acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who decides, who desires everyone to be saved and to. Come to the. To to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, there is also one me me mediator between God and human. He asked the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, a hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it 50. Then he answered another, and how much do you owe? He replied, a hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, take your bill and make it 80. And his master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly. For the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. And I tell you, Make friends for yourselves by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into the eternal homes. Whoever is faithful in very little is faithful also in much, and whoever is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful with the dishonest wealth, who will entrust you to you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful with what belongs to another, who will give you what is your own? No slave can serve two masters, for a slave will either hate the one and love the other, or be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot. Not serve God and wealth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Christ. Please be seated. Well, it was about... ...all that was on our full plate. Whether it entailed work or family or volunteering, traveling, sickness, education, multiple schedules. Do you ever wonder if people actually got a glimpse? of the how do you do know that it's okay to give more time and
and effort and attention to some of those things because they need it. Now, for some, this daily strategy of realignment and recalibration may seem completely exhausting. Faith in God, at least according to Luke, also means faith in your own worth. And your own worth has to be embodied in tending to those core commitments in your life that are central to who you are. This is where our gospel text for this week offers a critical corrective of our our own confirmed commitments and of the church, which often seems to have an imbalanced sense of its own priorities. The point of Jesus' story. on the part of Jesus is not a request to give up all that gives you life for the sake of life dedicated to Jesus. our common Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As scattered grains of wheat are gathered together into one bread, so let us gather our prayers for the church, those in need, and all of God's good creation. 
God, our Savior, you keep your church in faith and truth. Accompany those preparing for baptism or affirmation of their baptism. Enlighten preachers, teachers, seminarians, and all those who share your good news with the world. God of grace, Hear our prayer. Welcoming God, we are grateful for new beginnings of all kinds. We give thanks for Dr. Mary Newton, who began her role here as music director at St. Mark's earlier this week. together in the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, gracious God, we offer these and all our prayers to you through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let us take the time to safely pass the peace to one another this day. Let us pray. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He broke it, gave thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, and it's given for you. Do this.
with you. May you know that they are blessed and prayed over. And as you eat them and drink them, as you hear me say the words, the body and blood of Christ are given and shed for you. The table is ready. All are welcome.
Thank you for joining me and blessing each and every one of you as you make your way out into the world this week, and may you live out who God is calling you to be. Let's sing our sending hymn 547. Go in peace.